Ashoka and Dr. Mani. It's just a basic thing which uh, all clinicians should be aware. I think uh, we must not, after using machines and other things, computer assisted, we should not uh, lose faith in our own clinical medicine. So what I am going to talk to you, we always talk about success stories. But uh, as a doctor, we have faced, uh, as Professor Veerapadhan also must be knowing that it's not very easy that everything, uh, our treatment may not be right in every case. I am going to talk to you about the two cases of left lower than obesity in the x-ray chest. Next. Next. This apparently healthy looking lady, she came to our own patient. Next. Uh, she came first time to the outpatient, the symptoms of obese and dyspnea, not a known asthmatic. But uh, we had an interesting chest x-ray formed by CT next. This is the uh, x-ray chest of the patient, showing cardiomegaly and the left lower to the We can't make out the left lower the diaphragm. Little cardiomegaly and uh, she had, was apparently well and little bees she had as well. Next. Next. We took a deep inspiration film, sometimes we take it, we, we do simple things first before we go for CT. We thought what would be this left lower than obesity, masking the, uh, you cannot make out the diaphragm here on the left, right, the middle, right, yeah, right, next. The CT corrects reveals some interesting findings. Next. You can see very clearly that this is a film showing that diaphragm is raised up and there is some herniation. Next. 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 Nothing remarkable in these cuts. This is a rational cut. Next. And here, here you can see the obesity there. The left side. Next. And you can see the lumen there. What does it show? Next. 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 This is the rational cut. Was the next. You can see again the, the lumen of the bowel lumen C. Next. You can see very clearly this is the colon. The hostations are seen. Only the plain film. No, no contrast. Next. Next. This is of course the coronal section. We got a very good imaging the sciences we have developed. Non-invasively we can develop, we can diagnose case. Next. You can see the diaphragm, the diaphragmatic hernia. We break the diaphragm the left side. Next. The thinning of the diaphragm and the break. Next. Diaphragmatic effect is seen in the CT. Next. So this is a diaphragmatic hernia. Uh, this is a in the anterior aspect of the left hemi diaphragm with a condition of large bowel and abdominal flat fat. That's why it's called left bowel and obesity. And thinning of the left diaphragm. Next. Now the question is now, I, uh, she, I after the CT, I will ask her, what is the cause of this diaphragmatic hernia? The traumatic or cotton trauma? In fact, I asked her whether you encountered any trauma in the childhood. And she went and asked her mother also whether it was caused because the diaphragmatic hernia can present very late. It can present a forgotten trauma. Trauma happened about 10 years back. We will have this. Ashok Sundaravan, when he was in Ram Sundara, he also presented a case, I remember, some years back, that it was operated. Uh, the trauma was a long time back. During, a, uh, during laboratory, they found out there was a diaphragmatic hernia. I think he has gone, he will tell me. He said, congenital does it require repair? What are future complications? All obstruction. So we have to refer the case to a surgeon uh, and for the repair. Next. Next. So this is the first case. I am going to go for a very simple case only. I am not going to take much of the time. But I thought this is the kind of uh, forum where a lot of GPs are there and a lot of general cases we see. You must know. Shall we go to the next case? Next. This case also uh, was a little baffling for me. And uh, his name is Gopi, 32 years. He doesn't smoke, doesn't consume alcohol, not a diabetic. There is no history of any bronchial asthma, TB or other respiratory uh, problem. He has a mission operator. They come to ESI. He is presenting symptoms that fever for 10 days. Off its candy spoon for seven, for seven days. So he was investigated for fever, malaria for MP, MF, and, uh, and these are all negative. And these are the lab reports. Uh, only Mantu was 
12 millimeter duration. Next. Again, I find there is a small, it looks like a pleural effusion, actually. I call it a pleural effusion with a fever and loss of weight and uh, uh, obliterating the CPI. Next. Lateral view was not contributory, but I was doing in all cases. Next. Now, I thought it was infusion, we put him on uh, uh, anti tb treatment, but he had discontinued and he had to go to tour for a month to drop commitments. We again reported for a couple of months later. Next. Again, the uh, opacity persisted. I thought because of this, he uh, didn't take the medicine, it persisted. Next. You can see this too. And it rather it has increased, slightly increased in size. Next. Now, we did a CT again and it helped a lot. We give a, a hint of a diaphragmatic curvature. Next. Next. This is taken from my uh, cell phone. So uh, it is not that clear. Next. Still, it is clear enough to see the momentum uh, entering the uh, left side. Next. Next. This is the left diaphragmatic hernia. Two cases. Next. 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 You can see the momentum magnetic through the left diaphragm. Next. Next. Now, a, a defect in the left a diaphragm the, with the expression of momentum through the left. The diaphragmatic hernia on the left side. Next. Next. Now, there is no history of any trauma at the room. Again, we do not know what is the cause. Diaphragmatic hernia will trauma remains asymptomatic for a long time. It could be incident to finding in the X-ray like this. This is called diagnostic confusion. Luckily, we didn't put a needle. Normally, the question is that, you know, the tendency is to put a small needle in. I used to do it the bedside. Somehow, and always, this is a lesson I learned, always do your ultrasound of the chest. And to make out, and from this point onwards, Never put a needle just like that. Put a, it may, it, it may land a complication in bowel perforation. Why put a needle? So do ultrasound of the chest, which will tell you, definitely tell you whether it's a fluid, whether it is a patient uh, Next. Thank you very much for this two simple cases, but I